I'm not in Oklahoma anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. I'm in British Columbia. We had three flights, 14 hours. With this guy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that girl. We've got a pocket full of tags. Yeah. Moose, elk, deer, bear, and wolf. Wish us luck. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Sweet home. Freaking bull. Grizzly track, obviously. Man, what a crazy experience. Uh, and congratulations to Tim, man. Way to go, buddy. That was his uh, first rifle bull, first bull in British Columbia, and first time uh, shooting from a boat uh, at a big game animal. But Man, it is just a testament to how tough those animals are. Uh, Tim had hit him good twice, and then uh, had to finish him off once he got it. Once, uh, once we got to him, uh, Mike and I came in ahead of him and was able to blood trail him. And uh, sorry, I'm watching what Mike's doing up here. Uh, Anyway, Mike and I got there first. We just blood trailed him and found him bedded down. And I just sat there and waited with the rifle in case he got up. He didn't. Uh, and then Tim came in and finished him off. But man, elk are one of the toughest animals out there. It's absolutely amazing. So uh, obviously we'd put him, rather put him down right where they are. But sometimes it just doesn't happen. That's just the reality of hunting and the way that it goes sometimes. Uh, but anyway, those guys are back there now working them out. Uh, they're gonna get them quartered up and packed out. And uh, we're still hearing uh, bulls bugle on the other side of the river. So I'm gonna shut up now and see if we can go find another one. That's a lot of weight on the boat. Makes dream work, baby. It's a good team. It's bear proof. I rephrase that. Trying, trying to make it bear proof. All right, quick update. Um, I'm no longer using my GoPro because I dropped it in the river. <laughs> um, we had to go back to camp. And uh, we just done got we just gotten just gotten done. I'm sound like an Okie now. Um, we had just pushed off and got in the river where we could fire up the motor. Uh, we got Tim's bull down. Mike and I were going back to camp to grab his pack and something else. I don't remember what. And I had clamped my GoPro on the side of the boat, or actually inside the boat, and it popped loose and down it went. Fortunately. Um, Ashley and Jake helped us find it and we found it. We were able to scoop it up with the fishnet. Um, 
and it actually still works. I think the cart is good because all my footage from this trip, we haven't dumped any footage because we're so remote. I think all that is fine, but I just tested it and the audio isn't working because we use the uh, uh, media mod uh, from GoPro and it's not waterproof. But I think everything with the footage is good. It's just right now it's not working audio, so hopefully it'll dry out. So a little bit different challenge. Um, I have two different lenses for this camera. I'm using a Sony. Um, this one does not zoom a whole lot, so Mike has promised me that he'll get me within 75 yards of, of a big old moose or elk. That way you guys can see what I'm shooting at. Actually, I'm lying. He didn't say that, but yeah, no worries. <laughs> we'll make it happen. So day two, got beautiful bull down. Tim is ecstatic, uh, and he should be. Beautiful, gorgeous bull. Uh, we had to go in after him a little bit, but um, anyway, yeah, so far so good. Just the beginning of day two. Uh, we've got five or six more to go, but anyway, we're out. Now, in case you're wondering what that's for, it's a pretty cool idea. I've never done this in camp before. So the smoke will help keep the bugs uh, off of the meat hanging there. And then the uh, cover, I assume, is to help hold the smoke in and keep sun off? Uh, keeps the smoke in and keeps the rain off. Oh, the rain? Yeah. Okay, rain I was off. thinking maybe more sunshine than rain. Yeah, yeah. Um, you don't want your meat getting wet. Keep it dry and keep the bugs down. Awesome. That's genius. Okay, evening two, and we are off. So today was productive. Tim got a really, really nice bull, a six by seven. And uh, Mike and I just cruised away up the river. We actually saw another bull, his little guy. Uh, we saw him from like a mile away and we didn't get but within like maybe 800 yards. But anyway, we're off again. We're going upriver this time. And this time, I've got the killer with me himself. And in the big camera, Tim, say hi. Hi. <laughs> and somewhere back here behind me, I think that's him right there. There's a black bear, little guy. Good morning. So this is morning. 
three in a very foggy morning. And we're just floating down the river, just me and Mike. Tim and Ashley went upstream with Sean and Jake. We're hoping to hear something. And then wherever we hear it, we'll go and get out of the boat and go after it. You guys see as much as we did? Yeah. That's the best cup of coffee I've had in a long time. <laughs> yeah. Blue guy. Three legged. So you're hunting elk with a shotgun? That's weird. No. It's, uh, it's what's hunting the elk that might also be hunting us. <laughs> Wait a minute, you didn't say anything about bears here. Well, there's a few. If, if anything's gonna keep the elk on a move, it's gonna be the grizzlies, and we have enough of them around right now, so this is just a little bit of insurance. Insurance, I like insurance. or black bear? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, we can, that's gonna be our luck. We're way back up here. <laughs> We're gonna see just a 50 inch bull. He's just gonna stand there. I'm gonna be trying to scare him away. Get out of here and go. <laughs> that's when we call Sean. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Sean and Jake. That's right. We're gonna need some help here. Oh. 
I don't know if you can see those thorns or not, but everything that we're going through right now has those thorns on it. I'm wearing my Cryptek Altitude pants. I'll probably show you in a cutaway, but man, I'm able to blaze right through everything. Unfortunately, I took my Altitude uh, shirt off. I've just got a base layer on. I'm getting my, that stuff in my forearms, but uh, the uh, altitude from Cryptek is just blazing right through this stuff. Don't even feel it. Really, really good stuff. I gotta find Mike. <laughs> My butt's just a little flatter than it was a few minutes ago. <laughs> I know y'all couldn't see that, but <laughs> y'all couldn't see it, but you heard it. <laughs> I just fell right on my ass. <sighs> but look where we made it to. Right back, pretty close to where we started. Butt's gonna be up the beach a ways. But anyway, that was a, I think more of a hike and bulldozing brush than anything else. Good news is, I got some exercise. Whew. And I get a little dehydrated. All right, let's finish this. <laughs> that was an adventure. <laughs> yeah, well, you could call it an adventure, and that's a nice way of saying it. <laughs> I was just thinking, be careful what you ask for. Yeah. Because like, hey, I want to go for a hike, man. So that was more of a bulldozer through the brush <laughs> with yeah. thorns. I wouldn't, uh, yeah, I wouldn't suggest it. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. No. <laughs> Ashley's going to be really glad she didn't come with us. <laughs> I think it's different if you, so I seen at the top when we started to come down, we were on fresh tracks, like pretty fresh tracks, but then when we got down there, um, down to that flat. Looked like they stomped around, but then they turned and went back up, and we were just didn't have enough time to turn and go back up. The ducks are leaving. They're like, this country's terrible. <laughs> the ducks are like, we're out. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we'll wrap up day three or day four? What was it day four? No, I think it's only three, isn't it? Was that day three? I'm not sure. All right, well, anyway, we're wrapping up whatever day this is. Uh, pretty quiet day. Yeah. Lots of fog this morning. Um, we didn't even see anything. Oh, we saw that little bear. We saw the bear. So we saw a little bitty bear with an uh, injured front paw. You guys seen the footage of him standing on his hind legs trying to get some, I don't know, some berries or something. I don't know what he's trying to get. And anyway, we went back to camp at noon. We hung out. I fell asleep in the chair in the mess tent. And then uh, Mike and I just went for, we'll call it a bulldoze. So that was some thick stuff, and most of it had thorns. So anyway, tomorrow is a new day. Any words of wisdom? Don't go up there. <laughs> Don't go back up there. Yeah. All right. You won't have to tell me it's, twice. It's not worth it. <laughs> uh, animals have gone quiet on us. Man, our first night, uh, man, we were laying in bed, and you, I mean, we heard elk bugling. We heard wolves howling. That may be the problem. We heard stuff splashing in the water. Did somebody hear a moose grunt? I'm not sure. There was moose around. There was definitely moose around. Oh. Even the, the following night, we had a cow right here. So there was moose around. Yeah. So anyway, uh, tomorrow's a new day. We're going to call it a night. See ya. Good morning. So we're either on morning four or five. And uh, the river, I, I haven't mentioned this during the trip, but the river is going down. It's the lowest that it's ever been. <clears throat> we set a marker yesterday uh, up on the bank, and the water's gone down almost a foot in 24 hours. So we're actually having to battle to uh, get to where we want to go. There's hardly any flow at all, so it's not pushing us down river. Anyway, it's been really, really quiet. The uh, elk have shut up. We don't hear the wolves anymore. So I think the plan is we're going to hear the 
let's go do a stick check real quick we're back at camp did our morning hunt and uh, I want to see how much more of the water has dropped I don't know that's dropped a ton we're still looks like probably about a foot from the edge but uh, anyway it's time for us to go we just spent our last night here at this camp we're gonna go to another camp check some stuff out I'll come up here and show you kind of the before and after what camp looks like now Sean stayed back he's been getting everything packed up uh, Tim and Ashley are still up hunting but they'll be on their way back here in a few we're gonna load the boats up we have to go the opposite way that we came in because going back the way that we came in um, it's too low we can't get through with a full load uh, we did a, a dry run yesterday and it's just way too low so we're actually going down um, I think it's about a little over an hour hour and a half and then somebody's picking us up we're gonna leave the boats there take all of our gear go back to the other camp and we'll hunt out of there tonight so anyway let's go check out camp <laughs> by the way these are the new stairs steps uh, that Tim built with a shovel uh, because I fell down the last ones <laughs> the ground actually gave way uh, underneath me and I fell so twice now Sean, you've been busy. Yeah. Yeah. Packing things up. Oh, we're still got a fire going though. Yeah. <laughs> we can stay warm. All right, there's what's left of me and Tim and Ashley's home. All empty. We still got a fire. Tim, yes, sir. what are we doing? We are attempting to get down the river and get these boats off the water, change camps. Um, they said we can do it. We can do it. So we're gonna do it. Cause you shot everything out, man. Well. You killed all the elk. Killed an elk. <laughs> so we're gonna go somewhere else now, see if we can get Greg and elk and then a couple moose. And uh, maybe some wolves and some bears. How yeah, we might go squirrel hunting. Oh we'll see. my. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh my, yeah. We need the oh my in there. <laughs> yeah. So that is the unfortunate reality of this style of hunting. I mean, I've been telling y'all, man, the river has just been going down pretty dang quick. And they're running uh, jet motors, uh, jet propellers uh, on here instead of just a you know, regular propeller. And they suck up the water, but they can also suck up the mud, gravel, those type of things, and, and clog them up. And that's what's just happened to Jake. So he's in that water, and I promise you that water is not warm. So he's having to sit there trying to get his uh, propulsion unplugged right now. So we're just trying to stand by in deeper water. And it's real windy too, so it makes the water choppy, and you can't read the water. A lot of times, whenever it's smooth, you can see where the ripples are, you can see where the lines are, and it tells you where you need to go, where the deeper water is. But when it's choppy like this, you just can't tell. we've changed camps Mike and I took the truck here we're on a lake as you can see behind me and we've got a game plan I am actually standing on if I can find it here that is a moose trail uh, behind me that's what we're after is moose and then behind me in that 
this direction is a boat that we're going to utilize. We're going to go back up to the truck, up that hill that's <laughs> behind me. And uh, we're going to grab a small motor and um, some fuel, carry it back down here. And then we'll put the boat out on the lake. And then we're going to cruise the shorelines looking for moose. He'll be calling. And uh, hopefully we get lucky and find one. But anyway, cool change of scenery. Uh, we've got two days left and that we need to get it done. So anyway, we're gonna go up and get some fuel. I'll see you guys in a little bit. That's the thing about hunting with a camera and you're the cameraman, you can act like you're doing camera work and get out of dragging boats. Tell me what just happened. Well, we were uh, traveling along the edge of the lake here, and in this reed grass uh, all along the edge, there was a cow bedded down, and she stood up. And then we talked to her a little bit, and a calf stood up, a, a young calf, a small calf. And that usually means that uh, there isn't a bull around, because normally mom won't put up with that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Suddenly we looked over, and bull stood up. <laughs> he just didn't wait long enough, but there was a bull within range. He just didn't wait. <laughs> so, Mike's being nice. <laughs> He's, I saw the cow and the calf, and I was messing with the camera so I could show you all. And he's like, bull, bull. And the bull stood up. So I'm trying to get the camera around, and he's like, put the camera down. <laughs> so I put the camera down. And I grabbed my gun, put the magazine in. And uh, they were gone. They, they didn't wait around, but the, for a, a few seconds. So it wasn't very long at all. But anyway, it was really cool to see him. That's the uh, first bull that we've seen. So anyway, cool stuff. Uh, we're just going to go look for some more. All right, so we just drove back to the lake again. And... Um, of course, it's starting to rain, which is no big deal. Just it's not not too bad yet, um, but it sounds like it is down at the lake. <laughs> I'm not too sure. So we're uh, we're going to pack in down there. We're going to get in the boat and go cruise around. Call again, see if we can find that bull, or maybe his big brother or his dad. See what happens. See if we can stay dry. Wish us luck. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but the lake is rough and we're in a little bitty boat with a two and a half horsepower uh, motor on it. So we're going back to the truck for a little bit because it's starting to clear up that direction and uh, see if it clears up. So then we can go down. So we should go hang out for a few minutes and see what happens. That should be okay. 25 minute difference. That's huge. So this was just a 25 minute difference of what the light looked like 25 minutes ago versus now. So we're gonna go get us a moose. Well, 
good news is it quit raining. Bad news is Mike's holding the motor. <laughs> Sean. It's cooking meat. <laughs> it's cooking meat. That's oh. not just meat. Well, you gotta always have a, something cooking when you're butchering. What is it? It's elk. Just, I don't know what piece. I just grabbed a piece. And... This is why you come to elk cut. Elk cut. What's up, buddy? All right, this is the last step. We've got the entire elk cut up, vacuum sealed, and ready to freeze up. Hopefully they don't kick us off the plane tomorrow for being overweight. All right. Let's see if she closes. Walk away, walk away. Don't just stand there, Greg. Walk away. Walk away. 